Hello, my lovely Aries. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Aries, today we'll do your weekend reading. This will be for the 21st and the 22nd. And yes, is a time when we are moving in a different season, and that is a Sagittarius season. And as well as you know, Sagittarius being ruled by Jupiter, you instead Aries, you are ruled by Mars. But the thing is, we are moving to a different energy, and Sagittarius is a fellow fire sign as you are, and very much speaks the fiery thing right now right here also that speaks about the go get the things you are ruled by mars which is very much masculine energy and as well jupiter which is about expansion so the masculines most likely gotta take action either you are female or a male we are ruled by our masculinity or femininity yin and yang energy here loves divine feminine and masculine the way what i want i want to say with that this weekend is quite a shift for many many of you and let's see here loves what we got for you and how the energy flows what you need to know this weekend strongly and what else has as prediction our spirit guides. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. What we have for this weekend. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see here. What we got for you. An overall energy for you, my dears. We do have a Four of Pentacles. There's something here you try to make a decision, but you are holding on one way or another. But I feel here you will not hold for too long. It's like, let me see, but I will go anyway. As the Spirit says, whatever it is, don't hold it too tight. Make out of it in a better way. We have a Leo energy here sticking with you. Scorpio energy, there's some changes coming here. Also, Spirit says, avoid any conflicts. Also, there's an uncomfortable change comes up or is coming towards you. And you might feel like, quite like, I know the way it is and I'm firm of that. And Spirit says, be more flexible. And whatever move is here, whatever change is here, stay in your strength energy. I got this. I can deal with this. Seven of Cups. Tower. Because anyway, you cannot you cannot run away from whatever is coming here. And it's coming in a very short time. But the change is going to happen. It's prosperous. It's very good. It's abundance. So go ahead, loves. Don't hold it back because that's the next card. It's Ace of Cups. The love is coming into your life or whatever new you're going to do will bring you so much happiness. Because right now, there's something here conflicting, whatever it is. And whatever was here, confusion, whatever you feel uncomfortable that's that's for you to let it go and to know that whatever comes to you you can face and you can move forward with there's nothing in here to struggle with or to hold on on this because whatever is needed to go it's for your own best. It's for your own happiness. For many of you, you are dealing here with a Scorpio, with a Leo, or could be another fellow fire sign. But I feel here this move, it's very beneficial to you. And actually, it's making you, it's like 
at first I feel here I I couldn't make it but now I know my true power now I know where I need to go forward with let's see here what's the tower here for also whatever conflict comes to you especially this weekend loves spirit says stay neutral you don't want to make it bigger than it is and that will it's kind of holding on onto you don't spill it out or don't feel that i gotta do this 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 tower the universe is moving you towards something new it's moving you towards that thing you always looking for one more card here and five of swords and knight of wands and it's an easy transit even you are not quite sure because there is some some hidden things here spirit says your happiness is at stake your good energy is at stake here also it's kind of the universe is taking it's getting rid of your unnecessary people around you if you've been dealing Aries with another fire sign strongly here the universe is telling you don't pay attention because that person whoever were not truly honest to you and if you're holding on because you thought they are a twin because we have twin flame cards they don't know that they're not aware of that or they don't want to know or they don't want to recognize that let's see here king of wands what are you doing at this time also the way you are your firmness might make somebody uncomfortable yes and i feel here your firmness or your calmness might be an example for somebody well that's how it needs to be and that's how i feel in control or that's how i feel stable i know what i gotta do i know what is best for me and i'll go through that beautiful one more card here for you king of wands here you are emperor here you are I got this I know where is this going and I feel here whatever conflict is here the way you react that's how you'll get it but I feel here that is a thing here doesn't really doesn't really needs to get near you because if you are in the temperance and the the strength energy here and of course into the emperor energy is i got my boundaries set up right and nothing gets closer so here we are aries for some of you if you are holding on on something which is over because you still have more questions or things from this person spirit says don't even look for that because they are not here to tell you the truth so you to be happy and have that great new thing new beginning you are to move forward and it's kind of save the energy for the best not for what is gone but for what you need to and that's the balance you always were looking for so here we are lovely aries spirit says go from a point of strength not from a point of i'm afraid to to go through this go forward love and light aries have an awesome weekend ahead and we'll see you next time blessings Namaste.